Here's one I want to get out of the way real quick is Bounce. Um, this one, when you bring it from Half-Life to TFC here, isn't particularly w well suited like the case was with Boot Camp, where, you know, that one actually kind of, you know, with like 24 people was actually kind of fun. You know, it was open enough with enough verticality. Well, I say that this has this is a very vertical map, but you know what I mean? There's different levels. The structures were, like, well made in the sense you could, like, conch jump, grenade jump, rocket jump. There are a lot of instances where you could do that and actually take advantage of the class's abilities and stuff like that. Um, out, about half of the classes here are fundamentally useless, and the other half just kind of dominate. And it's small enough as it is where if you try to play a full server with, like, you know, 32 people on this map, it's just going to be a clusterfuck. Um, but as a doubles map, so four teams of two, um, this is actually not bad. Um, you're going to find uh, really quickly, though, that the heavy weapons guy still dominates. But there's some variety, I'll point it out. So right away, I don't need to really tell you that if you choose to play as a uh, sniper in this map, you're probably going to do pretty well because this is one of the most open uh, Half-Life maps as it is. And there's actually, like, sniper spots, like, you know, up here where you would have got the crossbow. You know, here you, where, you, you know, you can kind of sit around, go into the pipe, and really dick around with people over here. But besides that, you're going to tend to notice that if someone chooses a heavy weapons guy, you're probably going to win. You know, and, like, I, that's why I would recommend because it's only... Two people per team, that one person chooses a heavy weapons guy, and then other someone else choose the other person chooses a class that works with this map, like obviously sniper could be pretty good. But even like the soldier or even like your good standby the medic to try to add support and just like you know, general offense. You know, something like that. Um, that's about all the most I could say because engineers don't really have a lot of spaces to build. I mean you could build in here, but you know, you're gonna get like, you know, people are gonna come through here or here and gonna wreck your shit. Um, and there's no, like, you know, wall mount, like, chargers for health or, um, armor in this map, so there's, like, there's no real strategic points out of, outside of a few choke points, like, maybe this building, if you want to, like, you know, kind of block this, like, you know, ladder here, stuff like that. Outside of that, um, the water area is probably your best bet if you want to, like, you know, try to be a little bit more, like, uh, well, I was about to say that, but then, like, people spawn here anyway, like, regardless of teams, so, yeah. It's just pure, straight-up offense map. I didn't really need to tell you that, though. And see, this is part of the thing I have with all these Half-Life maps. When people bring them, let me just go all the way out. When people bring them into, like, Half-Life and, you know, like, your... Sorry. When they bring these Half-Life maps into Team Fortress Classic, my problem is, is that, you know, because, it's like, you know, the spawns are still random like they are in Half-Life Deathmatch. I mean, if a team, like, say, the blue team spawned here exclusively, and then maybe on the opposite side, like, all the way over here, the red team spawned, if you're just talking two teams... You'd actually have this battle area as kind of like an actual neutral area to rack up kills. While like still being able to spawn in like, you know, supplies and stuff like that. But because, you know, like Valve never intended these maps to be in Team Fortress Classic as it is. Like, you know, the items just aren't there. I mean, I'm very surprised nobody... People probably have done this. I'm just not aware of it. But, you know, people have decompiled the map and re-added in like, you know, team spawns and stuff like that. I don't know, just for two or even like, you know, if they would go over the four teams. And, like, you know, actually try to make it kind of work like a Team Fortress Classic map proper. Maybe even having it so the game can detect kills, like team kills. I'm not sure, because, you know, I, I haven't played it ever. That was a lot. Do you see that? I grenaded the one guy, and I just randomly decided to fire this shotgun here, and that killed the guy in, like, one hit. What the hell is going on? Why am I doing so fire? This is absurd. Yeah, don't, don't don't pick engineer and run around like this. It's probably not going to go very well for you. I don't really need to tell you that though, but you know, someone might need that knowledge. I brought this up last time, and I can't show. Oh, now I can show it. Um, I brought it up last time. One thing I like is how your grenades will fly off of this. That could be some really cool, like you know, emergent gameplay. Having like you know the uh, having to take advantage of to get some sick kills, bruh. You know, just thought I'd bring that up. Like one of these things. Well, I fucked that up, but oh well. Oh, sorry, AOL. I was actually shocked that you were here at all. I don't know what the hell it's uh, the this like um the bot deception with but, like you know engineers all of a sudden is though. Usually it's a little bit more diverse. At least someone's picking engineer uh, um, heavy weapons guy. Usually aside from me, I'm getting some really fire grenade shot like throws in today though. Well, except for that one. I I thought I'd get there over faster for some reason. I see you over there. 
Thankfully, the heavy weapons guy is fast enough to still be able to make most of the uh, jumps. Yeah, see what even the bots have figured out. If you can snipe, this could be a really effective like thing to do. I would imagine the bot. I have the bot set to like you know completely random skill. So some of them are really good. Some of them really suck. There you go. Someone figured it out finally. Well, I'm gonna steal your kill. Never mind. Um, I have the bot set to random skills, so sometimes it can be extremely accurate and dangerous, and sometimes they're just really stupid. That's not what I did last time. Last time I had them set on hard permanently, because, you know, I was a tryhard or something. I don't know. Might explain why I'm doing so good right now. I wouldn't recommend scout here, either. Like, medic could still work, because medic's got the double shotgun and the infection, so, you know, that can still be... Pretty helpful to, like, you know, try to get some quick kills. Nice suicide on my part there. But yeah, there's a lot of classes that just, I do not recommend. I see you there. Well. Oh, well, he killed himself! Well, that's kind of what Windows Millennium did anyway, but you know what I mean. At least the bots are changing up the classes a little bit. You can Stop! Well, at least he killed me that time, but he killed himself again. The bots are just being absurd right now. Like, I'm not scripting any of this. I didn't change any variables since last video. They're just being weird. I'll be s I'm gonna try sniping, just to prove my point. You're gonna get to see some really cringy, uh, lack of, uh, sniper skills here. Yeah, this is a good space to spawn me. Thanks, game. But see, I know how to take advantage of the map that's been given to me. As you see. Oh, well, never mind! Oh, oh, wow, I'm actually, I'm amazed I got a single shot in this at the whole time. Asshole. Ugh. Damn it, stop moving around so much. What are you doing? Well, I still miss it. And then he stole my kill, unreal. Oh my fucking god. Ugh. Yeah, I told you this is going to be cringy. Oh, well, I thought to shoot my own guy. I'm so stupid. But then again, I'm genuinely shocked to see AOL at any time because he's usually off doing something else. Can you really blame me? Oh, there we go. There's some redemption. What? You can't throw that through a window, you doofus? Yeah, I've seen about enough here. So yeah, Bounce in how Team Fortress Classic is only recommended by me if you're willing to put up with a smaller, like, you know, player like size like this or player count. Because anything higher than this, it's just a little too crowded and hectic for its own good. But in a doubles kind of situation like this, or even like, I guess, like, even smaller, it's not bad. It's alright.